G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. Yo, 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 warriors, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is all about supporting a loved one through brain surgery recovery from the friend or the family perspective. So this was a really cool question sent in by Dougie, who is a part of the warrior community. And yeah, he just wanted to know how to, uh, yes, how do you, how do you support someone who's gone through brain surgery from the eyes and aspects of a family member or support network crew. So guys, the reason I'm making this video is Dougie put the uh, question in the comments on one of my previous videos. So don't forget, if you want me to make a video, chuck the, uh, the topic and your question in the comments below and I'll make a video just like this, just for you. Um, alrighty, so the three things we're gonna cover today are the emotional roller coaster that someone who's just had brain surgery will go through both emotionally and also physically. Um, then also the second thing we'll talk about is the practical tips for carers. I know a lot of you I've connected with on Facebook forums and in the comments on my YouTube are actually mums, dads, carers of someone going through brain surgery and you feel helpless, you don't know what to do. So stay tuned and I'll give you some insights. Um, and I send you nothing but the best wishes for, for your little one or your loved one. And the third thing we're going to talk about is the power of taking things one day at a time and probably the best advice I ever got from my dad. Alrighty, guys, so we're going to start with number one. So brain surgery, like life, is an emotional and a physical roller coaster. Some days are glorious, some days are bright and you feel energized and awesome. You're like, I'm back. Other days, you feel like someone's taking the batteries out of you. Mentally, you feel a bit anxious, a bit depressed, a bit low, and you just don't know how you're ever going to get back to your old self and if you ever will. Um, carers and loved ones, you need to accept the fact that your, your, your loved one, your, your brain surgery and brain tumor warrior, they're going through a massive battle and they will be for the next weeks, months, and even years. Um, and it is challenging. So be patient with them and just understand that some days are gonna be up, some days we might be moody, we might be snappy, we might be hangry. Please don't get too upset at us. Just go, hey mate, you're, what can I get you? Do you need some food? Do you need some sleep? How can I support you best? Um, because you're lashing out a little bit, but yeah, I, uh, I can speak from, um, from definite experience and you can ask my fiance. She's the best person in the world, but sometimes I just get hangry or snappy or moody. And uh, yeah, it, it's it's not fun. And I, I come back groveling and I, I apologize later and she's super accepting. So please accept the fact that no two days will ever be the same. And it's going to be up and down from a physical, psychological perspective, but also from a, a, a physical deficit and fatigue one as well. So guys, as you know, I am chucking community connected questions to the pinned comment of all my videos moving forward because I want to get to know you and our community more, but I also want you guys to get to know each other as well. That's why there's a pinned comment and not just you guys throwing random comments in everywhere. I want the answers to these questions to be all somewhere where we can find it so we can, we can chat to each other and relate. So this week's Community Connected question is, when did you find out you had a brain tumor? Date, month, year, so for me it was March 11. 2020, so nearly five years ago. So guys, I'd love to know, sometimes it's the worst date to ever remember. I celebrate it as a celebration of, of life and ending my uh, my anxiety of not knowing where my insane dizziness came from. Um, and it, it's obviously a, a pivotal, pivotal time. So yeah, that's uh, that's when I, I uh, actually, you know, sorry, that's when I had brain surgery. As you guys know, forgetful memory. When I found out I had a brain tumor, it was back in 2013. Um, so yeah, I believe it was August 2013, I found out that I had a brain tumor. So 
yeah, guys, I'd love to know when you found out you had yours as well. Um, and yeah, my, my surgery was in 2020. Silly me. Alrighty, guys, point number two of the video for this, how to support a person going through brain surgery recovery. So some practical tips for carers. So number one, be patient. Uh, not only for their up and down moods, but also be patient from expecting them to be how they used to be. It's a brand new way of life for them. And they may or may not ever go back to how they used to be. Um, you've got to be patient and be supportive. Um, number two, treat them normally. The most amazing thing my fiance has mastered is how to treat me just like a normal human being, not someone who's got a brain tumor, not someone who's had brain surgery. She just treats me normal. It's a really nice feeling, that feeling of being condescended to um, when from other people. It's just really quite annoying. So just be normal. Try to tell you normally do. Crack the same jokes. Um, you know, me personally, speaking from my personal experience, I'm not that touchy. I talk about my brain tumors on bloody YouTube for crying out loud. Like, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, don't walk on eggshells. Just treat us how you normally used to. Crack the same jokes. We have the same... Uh, same sense of humor that we used to do. Um, and another one for care is be there, but don't fuss over us. Um, so this one can get quite annoying as well when you're getting fussed over. Oh, you were comfortable. Are you okay? I make one sound like I cough once. Oh, are you okay, Joel? It's really, 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 really nice that you care about me and us so much. And other worries, you can probably attest to this as well. But when you're constantly getting fussed over, um, it, it puts a spotlight on you and makes you, you know, you feel like you're different or you're, you're having to all have all this tension on you. Just be there for us carers, but yeah, don't fuss. We'll tell you when we want something, trust me. Um, if I'm hungry, if I'm tired, I'll let you know. And I, I'm, I'm assuming the, the other warriors in your care can attest to that as well. Guys, the, the third thing and the best piece of advice that I ever got from my dad in your recovery, it is a long journey. Just take things one day at a time. Both you as a warrior and you as a caregiver, just don't worry about tomorrow or next week or what you're doing next year. Just worry about today. How do we get through today as best as possible, as energized as possible, creating mini milestones, having a laugh, just trying to forget about what's going on in our surgery. And yeah, just take things one day at a time. Don't put pressure on you as a carer and don't put pressure on the uh, the warrior as a patient. Uh, oh yeah, it's the best advice I've ever gotten. In fact, once I find a good font, I'm gonna get a tattoo on the back of my arm. So watch this space. Um, in the future, if you're watching this video in the future, I may already have that tattoo. But at the moment, I just can't find the font I want. But when I do, bang, smack bang on the back of the arm. Um, so yeah, guys, just to wrap up those three things, uh, just expect the emotional and physical roller coaster. The, the number two was the tips I gave you as a carer. And number three was take things one day at a time. And guys, if you have a procedure, a surgery, or just some MRI results coming up, I wish you nothing but the best and I hope it's all good news. All right, Warriors, until the next one, peace.